Good morning, welcome to Vinyasa Mixed Level. We're going to start in a seated position, so find any comfortable seated position, either crossing your legs or sitting on your heels. Find length on your spine and bring your hands on your knees, closing your eyes. We're going to start with a grounding. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing your face. Give yourself time to arrive on your mat. And start already to connect to your breath. So observe the movement of your chest as you're breathing. Observing the air coming in and out through your nose. slowly bring your hands in front of the heart center by your head towards your hands take a deep breath in deep breath out and slowly open your eyes we're going to start in a child's pose, so widen child's pose, bring your knees mat distance, toes together and bring your arms forward. Just allow your head to relax on the mat. You can gently let the skin on your forehead crease towards your nose. Trying to let go of your hips onto your heels, so try to really relax your hips, relax your your arms, this time you can stretch your arms, but bring the forearms on the ground. And try to let go of your, your chest, so trying to melt your chest down onto your mat. Finding that length on your back. Take a deep breath in through your nose and side out. And then again, deep breath in, and deep breath out. Now start to lift your arms, so come on your fingertips, keeping the forehead on the ground, Really press your fingertips on the ground to root your sit bones onto your heels. Find that nice stretch on your back, shoulders, keep the shoulders away from your ears. Now inhale, look up between your hands, lift your head, and as you exhale, bring your hands over to the right side and folding here. Bowing here, pressing your left hand against the ground to root your left hip onto the, onto the heel. And trying to press your chest down. So you can feel the stretch mainly on the left side of the body. From the left hip to the left arm. Inhale, lift your head, look between your hands. Exhale, walk your hands over to the left side and bow here. Same thing, bring your right arm as far as you can to the left side to really lengthen the right side of your chest. Nice side stretch. Inhale, look between your hands. And as you exhale, come to the center, come back on your mat on all fours. Bring your shoulders over your wrist and make sure your knees are under your, your hips. Spread your fingers. We're going to start with warming up the wrist. So going clockwise, doing circles. 
and as you lean onto the right, try to press on your left hand, and as you lean into the left, trying to press on your right hand. You can even go all the way back onto your heels, making big circles. It's always nice to warm up the wrist because during a vinyasa class, we spend quite a long time on our hands. And then counterclockwise. And slowly come back to the center. Now you're going to bring your, your knees far back so your toes are touching the back, the, the back edge of the mat. You're going to try to keep your, your hips above your knees and stretch your arms for a cat stretch. So you can bring your forearms on the ground. If you already have a little more flexibility in the shoulders, you can bring your chest on the ground, chin on the mat and look forward. And of course, you can bring your knees a little further away. So if you want to work on the, on the shoulders, flexibility, then bring your knees back again so you can bring your chest on the mat. You can get a nice stretch on the top of the chest and, and the shoulders. Mm. Breathing here. Now slowly, let's get out of this uncomfortable position. Come back up, bring your hands under the shoulders and come to lie on your mat, belly on the ground. Now hug the elbows in. As you inhale, going to lift your head and lift the top of the chest, coming to baby cobra. So trying to really press your heart forward, elbows in. Mm. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Extend the right arm to the side, to the right side. Keep the left hand on the left shoulder and then lift the left foot. So bend the knee and slowly roll over to your right shoulder for shoulder stretch. Bring the left foot behind, behind you. Breathing here. And slowly changing sides. So bring yourself back onto your belly. Right hand comes under your right shoulder, left arm to the side. Inhale, lift the right leg. And as you exhale, roll over to the left shoulder. Bring the right foot behind. Trying to totally relax here, allowing your, your body to just lean on the side, not holding anything back, just relax there and breathe. And then slowly coming back and bring the left hand under the left shoulder, hug the elbows in, bring the forehead on the ground, inhale, lift your head and as you exhale, come up to cobra so maybe you can come all the way up already maybe just halfway there so pubic bone stays on the ground hip stays on the ground and you're going to press your heart forward squeezing your glutes shoulders down maybe gaze up and trying to magnetize your elbows your hands towards your hips to so slide your chest forward inhale here Exhale, tuck your toes under and come to downward facing dog. So first in downward dog, you're going to bring your feet together. You're going to lift your heels and bend your knees. And try to just find that length on your spine. So make sure your fingers are spread it wide. Push the floor under your hands, really press against the mat to lift your sit bones as high as you can, lengthening your back. Once you find that nice length, you can drop the right heel down. So extend the right leg, bring the right heel on the mat, stretching the back of your right leg. Breathe here. 
here. Now inhale, lift the right heel, and as you exhale, bring the left heel on the mat, extend the left leg. Keep on pressing on the floor with your hands to lengthen your back. Feeling the nice stretch behind the left leg. And inhale, bring the left heel up, bend both knees, push the floor, lengthen the back. Exhale, maybe bring both heels down. You can keep a distance, hip width distance between your feet. Mm, breathing here. Now inhale, lift the right leg up in the air, so three-legged dog. Bend the knee and open the hip to the side. Lift the right knee as high as you can. Trying to keep your shoulders square, trying to hug that right armpit towards the ground. Inhale, look forward between your hands. And as you exhale, shift your weight forward to a plank pose and bring the right knee onto your chest. Hug under your hands, protract your shoulder blades, really hug that knee in, inhale, and as you exhale, come back to three-legged dog, stretch the right leg back behind, bend the knee, open the hip, inhale, look forward between your hands, exhale, come back to plank pose, and this time step the right foot outside the right hand, coming, preparing for lizard pose, bring the left knee down, you can lean on the knife edge of the right foot to open the knee to the side. Align your hips to have more space to sink down. So draw your hips down, open your heart, inhale. Maybe you want to stay there or maybe you want to come all the way down to your forearms. Just take your time to, to soften and open your body. Using your breath to relax. Now inhale, slowly come back, bring your hands flat on the mat. And slowly exhale, come back to downward facing dog. So we'll do the same thing on the left side. Inhale, lifting the left leg back and up behind three-legged dog. And slowly bend the knee and open the hip to the side. Push the floor under your hands. You can energize this left foot, maybe spreading the toes or point the toes or flex the foot. Hug the left armpit towards the ground, so facing down. Inhale, look forward between your hands. As you exhale, shift your way forward to a plank pose and hug the left knee onto your chest. Really push the floor away. Separate your shoulder blades, rounding your back. Really hug the left knee in. Inhale. Exhale, come back to three-legged dog. Left leg up. And then bend the knee again. Open the hip. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come back to plank and step the left foot outside the left hand. Right knee down. Same thing to open the left knee to the side. Inhale, lengthen and release your hips down. Stay here or exhale, come all the way onto your forearms. Breathing here and trying to keep that length on your back, melt your heart to the ground. And slowly come back up, bring your hands on the ground, tuck the back toes under. Inhale, and as you exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Bring your feet hip with distance. Inhale, come to plank. Exhale, drop your hips and your belly down. Inhale, open your heart, shoulders down, press your chest forward. Exhale, downward facing, facing dog. Let's do this two more times. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale, 
belly down, drop everything, inhale, open your heart, shoulders down, gaze up. Exhale, downward facing dog. And the last one, inhale, plank. Exhale, release. Inhale, open. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward between your hands. And as you exhale, walk your feet to the front of the mat. Separate your feet hip-width distance. You can micro-bend your knee. Grab opposite elbows and just hang here for forward fold. And you can rock from side to side. To lean your toes and your heels. You can head no. Tensions you might have. Bring your fingertips and your knee. Inhale, lift halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Stay here as you exhale. So you're going to press your hips back and crawl the head forward. Lift, spread the toes and bring your arms behind you. Stretch your arms. Spread your fingers. Stretch your fingers towards the back of the mat. Open the front of the chest. Open the chest. Bring the shoulder blades. Touch behind your back. Really find that length on your back. Melt your heart to the ground. Press the crown of the head forward. Now interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale, stretch your arms. And as you exhale, drop the toes down, stretch your legs and fold. Try to bring the knuckles over your head as much as you can. You can keep on bending your knees and to rest your belly onto your thighs. Lift halfway up, lengthen. Bring your hands on the ground, exhale, fold. Stay here and inhale. And as you exhale, slowly unroll the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, coming to a standing pose. Tadasana. Bring your arms alongside the body. Keeping your core engaged, drawing the navel in and up toward your spine, feeling the connection under your feet with the earth. Gaze forward. Take a deep breath in and out through your nose. Let's do three Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, bring your arms over your head, gaze your thumb. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway up to lengthen. And as you exhale, step back to plank pose. Lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana, firm the forearms in, or coming to supported Chaturanga, bring your knees down. Inhale, upward dog or cobra if your knees were down, press your heart forward, elbows tucked in, shoulders down, gaze up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Then taking five breaths in down dog, keeping your feet hip with distance, spread your fingers wide, really trying to root your hands on the ground. Make sure you can have a quick look. Make sure your index fingers are pointing either forward or slightly to the outside, but not inside. You can micro bend your knees, lift your heels to find that nice length on your back. And inhale, look forward. Step your feet to the front of the mat. Exhale. Inhale, lift halfway up to lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, come all the way up. Bring your arms over your head. Gaze up at your thumbs. Exhale, arms down. And let's carry on. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Uttanasana. Inhale. Adha Uttanasana, flat back, look forward, exhale, step 
into plank, lower down, chaturanga. Firm those forearms in, no elbows on the sides, keeping the core engaged, look forward. Inhale, Uddhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. One. Two. Three, gaze between your knees. Four. And five, inhale, look forward, step or jump to the front of the mat. Exhale as you land. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale. Inhale, come all the way up, bring your arms over your head. Exhale, arms down. Let's take one last sun salutation. A, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One. Two. Try to connect with your breath every time you stay in a pose, just using each breath to realign yourself, to find some comfort. Inhale, look forward, prepare to step or jump to the front of the mat. Exhale as you land. Inhale, lift halfway up, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, bring your arms over your head, gaze up at your hands. Exhale, arms down. And let's just come back down. Inhale, bring your arms up, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold. Now separate your feet, hip width distance, maybe a little wider than hip width distance actually, if you want more space for your hips. You're gonna hook your big toes, your P sign fingers, so index and middle fingers together. Inhale, find length on your back, so draw the hips towards the back of the mat, crown of the head forward. You can bend your knees, really find that length here, already start to bring your elbows on the side, and as you exhale, slowly fold. Padangushtasana. So really use your toes, use your toes as a tool to bring your belly onto your onto so you can bend your knees if you want to rest your belly on your thighs. Roll the crown of the head down to the ground, lifting your sit bones as high as you can. You can really feel the stretch at the back of your legs. Draw the elbows onto the side, so really release the elbows on the side. Breathing here, relaxing your neck, your head. Inhale, release the hands on the mat, lift halfway up to lengthen. Exhale, come to downward facing dog. We can take it one vinyasa here. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, Uddhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. We'll start the flow with warrior two. So as you inhale, bring the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward between your hands and bring the left foot to a 90 degree angle. Keep the front knee bent, we move your arms up, inhale. And as you exhale, shoulders down, stretch your arms. Stretch your arms, collect your fingers and gaze towards your right fingertips, pressing the left foot firmly on the mat. Now as you inhale, flip the front palm open, lean forward, and as you exhale, reverse the warrior. Bring your right arm far behind, feel a nice stretch on the right side of the chest here. Inhale here, exhale, come back, bring your arms on the side, interlace your fingers, Make a fist with your hands. Inhale, stretch your arms. Open your heart. Exhale, stay here and draw the knuckles towards the back. Inhale here. Exhale, turn towards your right leg 
and slowly you can shorten your stand and fold into humble warrior. So try to hug the right hip in towards the midline of the mat and bring the right shoulder to your right knee. Drawing the knuckles over your head as much as you can, drawing the crown of the head down to the ground. Inhale, lift halfway up to lengthen. And as you exhale, bring the left hand down on the ground. Now lift the back heel and bring the right arm up for a simple twist. Really open the heart, open the chest, pressing the left hand on the ground. Now you're going to bring all 10 toes to the right side of the mat. Bring the right arm over your head. Lift your hips, inhale. And as you exhale, bring the hips down, lower your hips, bring the right arm towards the back of the mat. So circle your right arm down to the back of the mat. Inhale, lift again, arm over your head. Lift your hips. Exhale, hips down, circle your right arm to the back of the mat. Last one, inhale. Exhale, down. Now come back with the right arm up to the sky and preparing for Vashi Stars and our side plank. So find any variation you want here. Maybe bring the right leg back, maybe over the left foot. If you don't have so much balance today, bring the right foot in front of the left foot. It will be a little easier. And press your left hand firmly on the ground to lift your hips. Breathing here. Maybe gaze your right hand if you want some challenge. Now inhale, look to the front of the mat. Bring the right hand down, coming to a high plank. And as you exhale, bring the right foot between your hands for Anjayanasana. Bring the left knee down. Slowly bring your hands on top of your right knee. Interlace your fingers and bring your hands on top of your right knee. So inhale, draw the hips down. Try to square your hips. So hug the left hip towards the middle line of the mat, towards the front of the mat. And as you exhale, push the knee away, extend your arms and open your heart. Gaze up. Breathing here. Now slowly inhale, come back. Interlace your fingers behind you, make a fist with your hands. Exhale, lower the hips down. Inhale, stretch your arms. And as you exhale, open your chest, drawing the knuckles towards the back foot. Trying to keep the palms of the hands together. Inhale, slowly come back. Exhale, bring the left hand on the ground. Right arm up. Now circle your right arm to the back of the mat, grabbing your left foot. If you can't grab your foot, just open the shoulder and look towards the back of the mat and open the right shoulder. Otherwise, grab the other edge of the foot. Inhale, draw the hips down. And as you exhale, you're going to kick the foot against the hand to open the right shoulder, looking slightly back. Really letting go of your hips. Let them soften and relax. Breathing here. Lean slightly back. Inhale, release. Bring the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, right hand down. Now slowly untuck the back toes and stretch the right leg for Adha Hanumanasana. Point your toes, toes towards the, the sky. So try not to bring the toes to the outside. Try to really bring the toes facing up to your, to your head. Bring the, the hands just under the shoulders. Inhale, lift halfway up here. Hug the right hip towards the left. So really try to bring the right hip towards the center of the mat. And as you exhale, fold. Adha Hanumanasana. Breathing here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold.
Inhale, lift. Now exhale, bring the sole of the right foot on the ground. Tuck the back toes under. And then lifting the knee, coming to Parshvottanasana. So you're going to shorten your stand. Bring the back heel down, squaring your hips so your toes are pointing forward. You're facing the front of the mat. Bring your hands on your hips and slowly come up. So we're going to do a lot of shoulders opening today. We're going to bring your hands behind your back again, interlace your fingers. Inhale, stretch your arms, open your heart. And as you exhale, slowly fold your right leg. Bring the knuckles over your head as much as you can. Inhale, lift halfway up. Bring your fingertips on the ground to square the right foot. And as you exhale, fold again. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring the left hand on the right side of the mat or over your right foot. And as you exhale, lift the right arm up for a reverse triangle pose. Draw the right hip towards the back of the mat. So try not to stick the right hip to the right side. To really hug it in towards the middle line of the mat. Right arm up. Maybe give your right hand. Feeling the nice length in the whole right side of the body. On your hip, the side of the chest, and behind the right leg. Really push the flow away under your hands, your left hand, to open your heart. Maybe give your right fingers. Really lengthen that right arm. Stretch your fingers. Mm. Breathing here. Now inhale, look towards the front of the mat. Bend the front knee and bring the left hand in front of your mat for reverse half moon pose. You're going to slowly lift the left leg up. Trying to keep the twist to the right side. Bring the right arm up. Either you flex the foot or point the toes, but lift the left leg as high as you can. And open your heart to the right side of the mat. Inhale, look down. Bring both hands on the ground. Exhale, step back downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out through your nose. Now let's do the left side. Inhale, lift the left leg back behind, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot forward, preparing for warrior two, right foot open to a 90 degree angle, bend the front knee, windmill your arms up, inhale. Exhale, bend your knee, press the right foot on the ground, lower your shoulders and stretch your arms, gaze towards your left fingertips, making sure the front knee is still above the ankle. You don't want the, we don't want the knee to fall inside, so try to keep it over the ankle, over your toes. Trying to keep the shoulders over your hips, not leaning forward. Inhale, flip the front palm open, lean forward. And as you exhale, reverse the warrior, bring the left arm as far back as you can, lengthening the left side of the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, come back to where you're to. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Make a fist with your hands. Inhale, stretch your arms, open your heart. Exhale, stay here. Draw the knuckles towards the back, towards behind you. Inhale here. Exhale, come back. Twist towards the left leg and slowly fall into humble warrior. Hug the left hip in towards the middle line of the, of the mat. Trying to bring the left shoulder close to your left knee. Drawing the crown of the head to the ground. Shoulders facing the front of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway up, lengthen. And as you exhale, bring the right hand down. Lift the back heel and left arm up to the sky. For a twist. And now from here, we're going to bring all the toes to the side of the mat. Bring the left arm over your head. Lift your hips, inhale. Exhale, lower the hips, circle the left arm to the back of the mat. 
And then again, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, last one. Exhale down. Slowly come back. Left arm up, finding Vashistas and our side plank. Left leg over the right or in front of the right foot. Press your right hand on the ground to lift your hips. Maybe gaze your left hand. Then slowly come back, bring your hands down, coming to a high plank, inhale. And as you exhale, step the left foot between your hands, right knee down, Anjayanasana. Bring your hands on top of your left knee, interlace your fingers, draw your hips down, hug that right hip forward, inhale, exhale, press your hands against your knee, push the knee away, stretch your arms, Open your heart, shoulders away from your ears. Now slowly come back, inhale, bring your hands behind your back. Exhale, interlace your fingers. Lower the hips down. Inhale, stretch your arms, open your heart. Draw the knuckles towards your back. Exhale, staying here. Inhale, slowly come back. Bring the right hand down, and as you exhale, left arm up. Circle your left arm to the back of the mat, lifting the foot, grabbing the foot here. Inhale, lower the hips. So really let, letting go here, soften, and as you exhale, press the foot against the hand to open the left shoulder, slightly leaning back, coming to this mild, gentle back bend. And slowly release, bring your left arm up, inhale. Exhale, look down, bring the left hand down, squaring the left foot. Slowly coming to Adha Hanumanasana, stretching the front leg. Come on your heel, pointing your toes up, hands under the shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Hug that right hip in, and as you exhale, fold. And then again, lift half for your plank then. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring the sole of the left foot on the ground, bring your hands forward, tuck the back toes under and lift the knee, shorten your stance, stretch your legs. Squaring your hips, toes are pointing forward. Bring your hands on your hips and slowly come up. Now you can either interlace your fingers behind your back, you can bring your hands on your elbows, or take a reverse prayer, bring the palms together behind your back. Yogi's choice. So inhale, stretch, open. Exhale, fold to the left. Leg, bowing here, breathing here, connecting to your breath. So observing your breath, use your breath to find more comfort, to realign yourself, realign yourself not, not to find the perfect pose, but really to try to feel good in the pose. Inhale, lift halfway up, lengthen. Bring your hands on the ground, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, bring the right hand either over your, your, your left foot or on the left side of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Really hug the right hip towards the middle line of the mat. And as you exhale, lift the left arm up to the sky. Press your right hand with your right fingers on the ground to really open up and twist to the left side. Lengthening the left arm up to the sky. Keep on really 
bring the left hip away from your head so you can really feel the stretch at the back of the leg and on the left side of the body. Inhale, slowly look forward, bend the front knee, bring the right hand in front of you and as you exhale, you're going to lift the right leg up, coming to reverse half moon pose. Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana, lifting the right leg as high as you can, twisting to the left side, breathing here. It's okay to micro bend your standing knee if it's too much for your left hamstring. But try to keep that twist and lift the right leg, energizing the toes, the foot, breathing here. Inhale, look down, bring the left palm on the ground, and as you exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Let's take a vinyasa here, inhale to plank, exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll do this flow just one more time, but one breath, one movement, so it will be a little faster. Take a deep breath in and out through your nose, gaze between your knees. Let's start with warrior two. Inhale, bring the right leg back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot forward. Coming up for warrior two, inhale. Exhale here. Inhale, flip the front palm open, lean forward. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Inhale, come back. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Inhale, stretch your arms, open your heart. Exhale, turn and bow. Humble warrior. Inhale, lift halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, bring your hands on the ground, left hand down, right arm up, lifting your left heel. Bring all 10 toes to the right side of the mat, right arm over your head, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down, bring your right arm behind, towards the back of the mat. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Now come back, bring your right arm up to the sky and taking your Vashistasana. Lifting your hips up. And now either you stay here or you bring your right foot back behind for a wild thing, right foot back. Inhale, lifting your hips. As you exhale, bring the right arm over your head. Wild thing. Inhale, slowly come back. And as you exhale, either come through high plank and bring the right foot forward or lift the right leg up and slowly step the right foot to the front of the mat. Bring the right hand down, left knee down for Anjana. Now untuck the toes, come back up. Now lower the hips down, bring the arms over your head, inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands together if that's possible for your shoulders. Now interlace your fingers and keeping the index fingers pointing out like a peaceful gun, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring your arms over your head and behind, open your heart. Press your hips down and forward. Inhale, come back. Exhale, bring the left hand down, right arm up. Circle your right arm to the back of the mat. Lifting your foot, grab your foot. Inhale, lower the hips. Exhale, kick the foot against the hand and open your shoulder, open your heart to the sky. Back bend. Inhale, slowly bring the foot down, right arm up. Exhale, right hand down, extending the front leg for Adha Hanumanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, lift, right foot down, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee, coming to Parjvottanasana. Stretching your legs, bring your hands on your hips, slowly come all the way up. Interlace your fingers behind your back, inhale, stretch your arms, open your heart. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands down and bow again. Inhale, lift. And as you exhale, bring your left hand on the right side of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, draw the right hip towards the middle line. Exhale, right arm up. Reverse triangle pose. Inhale, look towards the front of the mat, bend the right knee, bring the left hand forward. Inhale, exhale, lift the left leg up. Ardha Chandrasana, now twisted. Ardha Chandrasana. Either you stay here or you bring, you bend the left knee, grabbing the foot here. Inhale, you lengthen here, and as you exhale, kick the foot against the hand, opening the right shoulder, lifting the left leg. Mm. Inhale, release, looking down, bring your hands on the ground, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out through your nose. Inhale, left leg up and back behind, three-legged. Exhale, left foot forward. Coming up to where you're to inhale. Exhale, release, shoulders down, stretch your arms. Inhale, front palm open, lean forward. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Inhale here. Exhale, coming back to where you're to interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, stretch and open. Exhale, turn and, and bow. Humble warrior, hug the left hip in towards the middle line of the mat, knuckles over your head, crown of the head is pointing down to the ground. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up for twist. Bring your toes to the left side of the mat, bring your left arm over your head, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down, circle your left arm to the back of the mat. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then preparing for Vashistasana, left arm up to the sky, bringing your left leg on top of the right or forward. Lifting your hips by pressing your right hand on the ground. Maybe look at your left hand. Stay here or bring the left foot behind you. Inhale, press on your left foot to lift your hips up. And as you exhale, stretch the left arm over your head for wild thing. Inhale, slowly come back to a side plank. Maybe bring your left hand down already and come to a high plank or lift the left leg up, inhale. And as you exhale, step the left foot forward, right knee down on Jayanasana. Keeping your hips square, inhale, bring your arms over your head. Exhale, hands together, lower the hips. Interlace your fingers, keeping the index fingers pointing up. Inhale, stretch your arms. Exhale, arms back, back bend. Inhale, come back slowly. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up. And now slowly lift the left foot, bring your hand on the foot, so grab the foot, inhale, lower the hips, exhale, open up. Inhale, slowly release, exhale, left hand down, extend the left leg, flexing your foot, inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift again. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lift. Left foot on the ground, hands forward, tuck the back toes under, lifting the knee, and as you exhale, shorten your stand for Parshvottanasana. Hips square. Bring your hands on your hips, slowly come up. Taking any variation you want here, either interlace your fingers or grabbing your elbows or prayer. Inhale, stretch your arms, open your heart, gaze up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, 
Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands on the ground, exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right hand over to the left side or over your left foot. Inhale, lengthen. Left hip towards the back of the mat. Exhale, left arm up. Open, twist. Feeling the nice lengthening in the left side of the body. Maybe gaze your left hand. Inhale, look towards the front of the mat. Bend the front knee, bring the right hand forward. Exhale, lift the right leg up. Keeping the twist to the left side, lift the right leg as high as you can possibly. Staying here or bend the knee and grabbing the foot here. Inhale, open and lengthen. Exhale, kick the foot against the hand. And slowly release. Inhale, look down. Bring both hands on the ground. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take one vinyasa. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward between your hands. And as you exhale, come and sit on the mat. Extending your legs, so flexing your feet. Bring your hands down beside your hips. Inhale, lengthen, slightly open the top of the chest, draw the shoulders down. And as you exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly come back up. And as you exhale, release. Bend your knees now. Let's come for Adamatyandrasana, Lord of Fish. So bring your right leg down. Bring your left foot over the right knee. You're gonna bring your left hand behind you. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, hook the right elbow against the left knee, keeping your left rooted onto the mat. And exhale, twist. So try to relax the shoulders and as you lengthen, exhale, you twist. Connecting to your breath again. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, really changing side here. Now this time bring the left leg down. Right foot over the left knee, keeping your right hip on the mat. Right hand behind, inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, twist. As you inhale, lengthen, press the right fingertips on the ground, shoulders down, exhale, turn. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Now you're gonna bend your knees, so hook the big toes, your peace fingers. Lean slightly back, start to try to balance on your sits bones here, lifting your feet already. Open the heart and shoulders down and slowly stretch your legs. Ubaya Palangushtasana, gaze up. Try to bring the shoulders back. You will have a tendency to have the shoulders forward and round your back. Try to flatten your back, open your heart, shoulders back behind. Gaze up. Breathing here. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Now bring your feet hip width distance. You're going to lie all the way down to your back for bridge pose. Make sure you can feel your heels with your middle fingers. Keep your toes pointing forward. So hug the shoulders behind your back slightly. Inhale, lifting your hips, press on your feet. 
exhale. Interlace your fingers behind you. Make a fist with your hands. Make sure you're, you can try to bring your palms together to touch. Hug the shoulders a little bit more, maybe. Then keep the fist, keep the hands on the ground, firmly grounded. Inhale, exhale, press on your feet and your fist to lift your hips up. Breathing here. Inhale, exhale, release your arms, and come all the way down. Bring your feet mat distance, knees together, hands on the belly, and close your eyes. We'll just have a second bridge in a moment. Slowly coming back, bring your feet hip-width distance. Interlace your, your, no, sorry, hug your shoulders behind your back, I would say, and then slowly lift up. This time you can interlace your fingers or you can hold the lower back. So bring your hands on the lower back, hug your elbows in. And you can maybe stay here or lift your heels, come on your toes, and then bring your toes closer to your to your elbows. Maybe lift one leg up, stretch one leg up to the sky. Press on your left toes to really lift your hips. Stretch the leg. Energize the toes, the foot. Inhale. Exhale, right leg down. Now lift the left leg up. Pressing on the right toes, stretch that left leg up, lifting the hips. Inhale, exhale down. Slowly release your hands and coming all the way down, you can bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. You can rock from side to side. Now stretch the left leg onto the mat. Interlace your fingers and place your hands on top of your right knee. Inhale, squeeze the right knee onto your chest. And as you exhale, bring the right knee over the left side of the mat. Extend the right arm. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. And exhale, extend the right leg. Now hug the left knee onto your chest. Interlace your fingers and inhale, squeeze the left knee in. And as you exhale, twist them to the right side, left knee to the right side. slowly come back bringing both knees onto your chest bring your knees on your chest. In. Legs. Your 
some or if you want to feel more grounded you can bring your palms facing down and getting that grounding energy from the earth and relaxing your whole body and close your eyes letting go of your, your limbs Relaxed and soft. Connecting to the flow of breath. Taking this moment to reflect on your practice today. Not Surrendering to the law of gravity. Make circles with your ankles and your wrist. You can stretch your arms, your head, and your knees. Leaning on the right arm, using your right arm as a pillow to rest on. And then when you're ready, you can slowly push yourself up to seated. Bring your hands in front of the heart center, bind your brain to your heart. Thank yourself for practicing today. Feeling grateful to be able to step on your mat. Show up for your own well-being. For your physical and your spiritual practice. You can end this practice with a chant of one ohm. Take a deep breath in. Thank you so much for practicing. See you soon. Have a very nice day. Goodbye. Namaste.